Today, new clips from the video of James Boyd up on the mountain with police. You can see a woman jogging by, and the defense said because Boyd, a mentally ill man with a long, violent history, would not drop his knives, they had to get him into custody. Around 7:30 p.m. that March 16th, it was getting dark. It's a difficult environment to move in, especially uh, taking into consideration darkness, and darkness was on. Uh, Coming up. But the defense said the circumstances here were horrible. They said police were on rough terrain. They put a plan in place with non lethal tactics a flashbang, then taser, then the dog. Usually, dogs can take a, a, a suspect down to the ground. But they all failed. Then the defense said Dominic Pettis and Keith Sandy had a duty and obligation to protect their fellow officer, that dog handler who was within eight feet of a man armed with knives. If I was standing right here with my hands like this to you, is that a deadly threat, sir? Without a doubt, sir. But the state still wasn't done, still trying to convince the judge what happened here was not reasonable. If he's surrendering and not a threat, it's never appropriate for officers to use force on that person, correct? If he's not a threat, they wouldn't be using force. That's correct. And that is what all of this is going to come down to, whether or not the judge finds what those officers did is reasonable. If not, they could face criminal charges, and that is what the prosecution wants. Back to you.